wagons are in need of repairs, they are often sent to Crovens Gate Works in special mixed stock trains. There, they are repaired before returning to work and service. Most engines find the job boring, as it often requires stopping and shunting at each station. One morning, Neville had been charged with a mixed stock train. <laughs> Have fun. Try not to fall asleep. Neville had never pulled one of the trains before. Are they really boring? <laughs> never so. Don't laugh, Henry. It's important work, you know. <laughs> Rather him than me. Henry then puffed away to do his own work. Duck looked over at Neville. It can be quite dull, but it's a peaceful run. You might enjoy it. Thanks, Duck. I do like the sound of a peaceful run. The time soon arrived, and Neville moved to the yard where his train stood. Coaches with torn seats and damaged windows stood before old goods vans, with trucks with rotten planks, rusty buffers, and cluttered with debris. Neville backed carefully down onto the train and waited for the guard's whistle. Cool. Hope these things will hold their shape until the works. You don't think there'll be any trouble, do you? Nah, we'll be fine, lad. The guards whistled then blew, and Neville puffed away. He didn't realise that his driver's words were soon to be proven false. Neville ran well, and he soon passed Crosby Station. His train was longer now. He didn't mind, but trouble was up ahead. As he rolled over some points, the train jolted. No one took any notice, but a little while later, there was another jerk. Neville's fireman looked back. Good glory! Stop! The last five trucks had uncoupled. The wagons rolled slowly behind, drawing to a standstill. The problem was quickly discovered. An old salt van was the truck which had uncoupled. Life at the harbour near the salty sea air had rusted its coupling. The first jerk had loosened it before it had finally fallen completely off. The train was going nowhere. Bother! Long walk back to the signal box. But then, Neville had an idea. Do we have any rope? I think I saw someone on an old truck. We could use it to tie the buffers together. Doc once told me a story of a visitor who did something similar. That surely won't work. Well, unless you want to push your end, we have no other option. It could save time going back to the signal box and going back to Crosby. The men agreed to it. The rope in question was found and the buffers of the van and the other van before it were tied together. Oh, I hope this works. When all was ready, Neville slowly crept forward. The rope stretched and held. Neville slowly and carefully puffed on. It was slow moving, but they reached Wellsworth all the same. Hello, bored yet? Say, you're late. Had some coupling trouble. Henry was about to reply when he saw the makeshift coupling. Did that hold? Neville just grinned. He wasted no time shunting the van away be taken to the works the following day. Henry left the station silent in admiration. Neville was soon on his way, and he reached the works only a little late. He was surprised to see the fat controller waiting for him. I've heard all about your quick thinking, Neville, and I'm very pleased with you. You're a really useful engine. Thank you, sir. Neville felt very proud. Nowadays, whenever there's a mixed stock train, Neville always likes to take it. He enjoys the run, much to the confusion of the other engines. But ever since his first run, his crew always brings some rope with them, because they never know when they'll need it. <laughs> <laughs>